Right guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. In this one I'm just going to be showing you how to fit your Campagnolo Record 2x12 speed front derailleur to your bike. So let's go ahead, let's run through the steps. So the first thing we're going to do, as you can see on this, is a braze on mountain, not, not a clamp on. So if it's a clamp you just obviously attach your derailleur and then put the clamp around the seat tube and position it like that. But I'll say this is braze on. So we just undo the mounting bolt there. It's a 5mm hex head for that. Mount that in position. Get that done up. So we get that in there like that. Now to set the height of it, you can get an actual tool they do that slides in on your chain ring so you can set the position of it but if you haven't got that tool and you don't want to purchase it just to do this then all you need to do is the gap between the front edge here and one of the teeth on the chain ring that gap there wants to be between 1.5 and 3 millimeters so if you get yourself a a two millimeter Allen key or two and a half millimeter. You can rest it on top of one of your chain rings, teeth on the outer chain ring like that, and get it and just lower down the cage there for dry layer and just sit it on top of the Allen key like that. So once you've dropped it down and you're happy with that in position that would be the height of it set so we've got to do just lightly clamp the derailleur for a minute and then obviously check it again make sure it's right so you're happy with that and then looking at the alignment of the cage against the outer chain ring so you can look at it and see if it needs moving at all. So you want it parallel with the chain ring. So when you look down like that, it'll be parallel in line with the chain ring to look at it from here. So if you're looking down, see all you've got to do is move it. If you haven't done up your pinch bolt fully yet, so you can just adjust it and hold it in position and once you're happy with that you can just do up the mountain bolt and then you can torque that up There's seven newton meters on that there and then if you had a clamp on one band on derailleur then it's five newton meters on the on the uh, mountain bolt or the clamp that's going around your frame that one's seven on this here so once you're happy with the alignment and the height, we we'll move on to the next step. So the next thing I'll just point out is the cable mounting pinch bolt there for the cable. Now, as you can see, it's on this side of the arm of the derailleur. Now you can take that out of there and move it into this side so you can unscrew it all the way out. And then there's a lug on there and that lug just corresponds with a little slot in the back over here. So you just put it in that side and then all that does is goes in there so as you can either have it there or there depending on how much clearance you've got for your tyre on, you know, on your particular frame. So you could have it this side if you've got the clearance or this side, just depends. And then obviously here you've got your low and your high screws there so you can use a star screwdriver or a flat screwdriver on them. Low screws is the one closest to your frame your seat tube and the high screw is that one there close to the outside I just thought I'd point that out just to show you so if you're using the barrel adjuster like this then what you want to do is the side that says up on it just has the normal outer cable goes in like that the opposite end has a ferrule on the end 
it goes in there and then your outer cable goes in that so it has the ferrule in there then the cable to go in there like that that's on the lower side the upper side doesn't have the end on it and then what you want to make sure is there's three lines on there so make sure that that's screwed in all the way before you hook your derailleur up or anything just screw that in all the way until it's at the bottom just get screw it in like that so you can see that the last line just there put it into there like that you can barely see that last one before you hook anything up so before I carry on with the cable putting that over the pinch bolt I'll just say that the method I'm just going to show here is if you haven't got a barrel adjuster in line that I just showed if that barrel adjuster isn't in line up by your handlebars then I'm showing that method because a lot of bikes these days there's nowhere to put a barrel adjuster because obviously your cables are internally rooted so I'll talk about the method with the barrel adjuster as well but the one I'm going to show you is without that barrel adjuster so just to make you aware of that because like I said a lot of bikes these days don't have anywhere to put a barrel adjuster um, up by the handlebars on a lot of models so what we need to do with the cable so obviously we've got a brand new cable in here then whichever way you need to position your cable either this side or this side depending on the setup like I said earlier of your bike then what you need to do is first of all before you do the cable is with your chain is put your chain on the inner chain ring and the largest sprocket on your cassette whatever you've got on the rear so I'll just go ahead and put that chain on there and then run through the next step so the chains on the inner chain ring and the largest sprocket on the rear so in this case is the 32 on the rear so what we're looking for now and this is how it differs if you're using a barrel adjuster or not and like I said we're not using a barrel adjuster here so there's a gap between the inner plate there and the chain just in there so you see if you tension the chain up it's not touching it there's a gap down there so what you need to do is with the chain on is now and the cable's not hooked up is just push with your thumb on there and it'll just move that cage over like that effectively so it's just touching the chain and then when you push it over so it's just touching after you pushed it across then you want to do up your low screw, the inner one there until the screw goes down and touches so when you let go of this it stays where it should be touching the chain so what you do is push across on it like that and just do up the low screw clockwise so now there's no gap there the chain is just touching that inner plate so that's how you do it if you haven't got a barrel adjuster if you've got the barrel adjuster all you do is go to your barrel adjuster instead of pushing on here just go up to your barrel adjuster and then unwind your barrel adjuster so as it would then move the cable because your cable will already be hooked up you just hook the cable up first then do your barrel adjuster by undoing your barrel adjuster it just move that cage in a cage across till it touches the chain so that's if you had the barrel adjuster but like I just showed then we're doing it without so we haven't got the cable hooked up and all we're doing is push on there turn the low screw so when we let go the cage doesn't move back again so that's the difference between the two so next step what we do is with your low screw we just need to turn that screw 
core of a turn clockwise so you can just get on that screw there and just turn it quarter of a turn like that now we can hook up the cable so you put it over you want it to go behind the plate there like that and making sure that when you do up your pinch bolt that the lug on the back that goes in the slot actually goes into that slot so what you need to do is tension that cable firmly and then do up your pinch bolt so you can either grab hold of it with your hand and pull on it as tight as you can or grab hold of the end of the cable right at the end so it only damages the very end of it so you're not using that anyway so you're going to cut it off pull on that with a pair of pliers to tension the cable so and then just do up your pinch bolt initially just clamp that up so we've got all of the cable there and we're pulling on it so we we'll just snug down the pinch bolt so it just catches and clamps the cable like that once you've done that just check with your chain again that it's still touching the inner plate under tension chain should be just resting on it like that and you're ready to move on to the next step so the next step is obviously like I just showed the chain is still touching the inner plate there so now you've done the cable what you want to do is go to your inner your low screw again get on that and then undo it so if you undo it until when you're looking it's hard to show but when you're looking in here you can see the screw coming out the thread that's resting on the tab in there so as you undo it the trailer moves in towards the tire effectively so as you just undo it until the tensions let off it so as soon as it stops moving the cage stops moving which you see it probably can't see it moving on the camera it's just about moving there if you can see that or not it moves if I just move the screwdriver like that so when you let that off when it's just let off until it stops so when you see it stop moving and just stop undoing the screw and when you've done that you check the tension when you put the tension on your chain you'll see there's a gap it doesn't want to be touching this wants to be like a 0.5 millimeter gap between the cage and the chain now so it's not actually touching it it's really close but it's not actually touching so that's how you want it if, you, if yours doesn't do that as in when you do the screw it's not moving this towards the inner cage towards the tire then what you need to do is undo the pinch bolt and let the, the cable off and then with your low screw with the cable not connected bring it over this way more than the quarter of a turn than we did earlier when it's that quarter of a turn move it over a bit further towards this way the cage so as when you hook the cable up it'll be slightly further over so your chain's actually rubbing on the inner inner cage plate so as then when you hook the cable up you can actually let that screw off and it moves back towards the tyre so you've got a 0.5 millimetre gap between the chain and the inner cage plate when it's under tension you should just miss it like that so once you've done that we can move on to the outer chain ring so we're on the outer chain ring now so if you've got a chain on there you can shift up and down a handful of times just to help bed the cable in and then leave it on your outer chain ring with it on the smallest at the back so your 11 tooth at the back and then what you're looking for then is the clearance between so you want clearance just there between the chain and the outer plate here so it's just missing it there 
and then you need a gap between the inner cage and the chain so about a millimetre or so gap between there and the chain and obviously you just have a small gap just on the outside here where the chain's passing through so to water that you just go on your hoist screw there to water it so you adjust it so if you let it off it'll come over this way slightly and if you screw it in clockwise the cage goes over towards the wheel effectively that way you put tension on it or you let it off a little bit so to you get the gap right so you want about a millimetre or just over a gap in there and then you just want it just passing the plate inside there so with the shift lever you've got four settings you've got the inner chain ring and your outer but you've also got two in between that so as for instance at the minute we're on the inner chain ring as you can see and we're on the 32 at the rear so the largest at the rear so your chains just passing like that your plate on the inside as you come down the cassette on the back then the chain is going to move slightly this way more as it comes down so what you can do is as the chains moving this way as it's going down the rear cassette like that just push it across from the finger but what you do is if you shift your dralia you can just micro adjust it so you can shift up just one click so it won't change up to the outer chain ring you just got one click so now you can move further down the rear cassette without it making noise and contact with your front derailleur there so it just allows you to come further down the rear cassette without it making contact and you've got the same adjustment on the outer chain ring as well so if I put it in the 11 and the 34 like this one is and the smallest at the back then you've also got a click down for that so I'll just put it in that and show you so we're setting the outer chain ring now and the 11 at the back so you'll have a small gap obviously like you set up with a small gap so it's not making contact but barely not making contact and then what you do is with your shifter when you shift down you can shift it it'll just move it won't go to the inner chain ring it'll just drop down slightly so as that means that like that that you can that means now you can shift further up the rear cassette without it making contact with the cage so as the chain goes over like that as you're shifting up back up the cassette you've got clearance again but that doesn't mean that you can cross chain it so much as you're on the extremes of the two so you're on the outer here and say you're 32 at the back it's still not designed to do that because you're cross chaining too much you will do it but it's not designed to and it'll just wear your chain out quickly and everything else because it's cross chaining too much the same as if you're in the inner and the 11 at the back it's not designed to do that even though it will you're running the, the chain angles far too much so it's not actually designed to do that so that's the wrong gearing so once you're happy with the setup of the derailleur and everything's working as it should and you check it and double check it then you can go ahead just torque up your pinch bolt so that's five newton meters on that and then go ahead and snip your cable off and put a, a stop on it And that's the installation complete. So if you found the video helpful, remember to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more cycle-related content. Till next one, ride safe and I'll see you then.